Welcome to the Value Make podcast. My name is Ryan Perrist. I'm your host, supported by Heather Bicknell, as we meet with the people that make the digital workspace work. It's about the technology, it's about improving people's work experience and finding the return on value. Hey, how are you? I'm good. It's been a while since I've worked on a PC, but I'm on a Microsoft <laughs> laptop right now. And it was like, hey, did this update? And then it's like, are you sure you want to remain with your custom settings or do you want to use Microsoft settings? Because they want me to reset edges in the browser. And it was the whole like hoopla to get here. So sorry about that. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. It's I'm actually, I bought myself a Windows machine, a little secondhand one, because I've got a whole bunch of DVDs that I've bought. And I don't have a DVD player, but they were such a good deal. And they're all my favorite series that I just can't find on a streaming service. So I bought the DVD, so I'm going to go rip them now so I can watch them on my iPad. And it's almost like PTSD, trying to plug the thing in and look at it, because I'm, just, I'm so used to having a happy, error-free experience. I've been, I've been prolonging agony, so but my wife's away for a week in the, in the States. So I'm going to, I'm going to have some playtime that so won't be distracted in the evening in a good way. So. Nice. What, what else is, what else is new? Oh, I was, well, this thinking? is why I wanted to have a, I wanted to have a short session. So I've been doing this thing called 75 Hard. You ever heard of it? I have. Yeah. So I am. It's quite funny because I was, I was kind of doing some of the stuff anyway, just by default, but I bumped into, I saw a friend of mine on social media, I phoned him, had a chat with him because he, he was talking about doing it and we had a chat and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to give it a go. And it's been quite an impressive thing to be doing. It's tough. It's tougher than I thought it was going to be. No, it's not a fitness challenge. It's a mental challenge, but I'm using Apple fitness as my go-to workout tool. And it's been enjoyable. I've, I've been quite impressed with, with actually how much stuff is inside Apple Fitness to do. Cause you're going to, so, so the background to, to 75 hard, hard 75, I don't know. I call it all sorts of things. You do two workouts a day. Both have to be 45 minutes. One has to be outdoors. You've got to read 10 minutes of one picture in the day and take note. You have to read, you have to eat, drink one gallon of, of water. That's a US gallon, not a UK gallon. A US gallon is. 3.8 liters, a UK gallon is four and a half liters. So I started mm. drinking four and a half liters that. of water. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I know the hard way. A, Although I drink six liters of water. <laughs> yeah, I drink six liters of water. It's not a bad now I even notice. Yes, I had three days of headaches because of messing up my lecture light. So I fixed that problem. And what else? You have to take a photo every day. I think that's the five thing. And you do it for 75 days. That's the 75. And it's been great because it's gotten me back into my early morning workouts. Which I was going to the gym, but I was kind of going there some days, not every day. And I have to go every day. So now I'm doing my workouts in the morning, the rain or shine. And like I said, I've, I've been exploring the, the Apple Fitness app because I've needed it. Every day you need a workout to do. And some days you, you, you're pretty stiff, you know, especially if you do a hit workout the day before, two workouts in a row. So you got to, you, and, and this is what I'm quite enjoying about it. You're balancing the load of what you do to your body. But in the same token, you're also seeing the improvements. I mean, I can't believe like physically how I've changed in two weeks. So that, oh, the, the other thing, sorry, was, was we have to follow a diet and no, no cheap meals and no alcohol. So I don't drink anyone, but I've, I've cut out sugar completely and it's been quite amazing at, at the transformation. Like I sleep better again, my energy back up again. And it's because I've probably sneak in the odd cheap meal. That was throwing me off. And now I don't do any of that stuff. And I'm following my carnival, my keto carnival diet quite strictly and having enough water. So it's been quite an impressive experience. So much I want to tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. So are you holding? I know there's the rule, right? If you like, if you don't, if you miss a day, you have to start all over again. Yeah, are you, yeah. are you, but a lot of people have like played with the format, right? And are. They take things, they leave things behind. They change a nonfiction book to a fiction book. Well, I've seen a lot of versions so, now. So when I chatted to Stephen, Stephen and I got an episode on this. Like I read, I, I read a book a week anyway. So mm -hmm. when we were discussing it, I was like, yeah, I read a book a week, like maybe two books a week. So I really need to add 10 minutes of reading to my life. And he said, well, maybe you need to add 
you know, because the whole, the whole thing is about intent. Like, what are you sitting down to do? So like, like there's a few books that I've started reading that I haven't finished because I, you know, I, you know, I'd rather go read the fiction book than to the, read the nonfiction book. So I've made an effort to go and read the nonfiction books that I haven't been finishing off. So you can't do an audio book, which is the other thing. You've got to sit down and actually read. Mm. So, you know, I, but, but we had our call on Sunday and we were discussing like the one guy's learning French. So he's using his 10 minutes a day not to go read a nonfiction book, but he's doing French lessons. So I think that's cool. I think any, any personal growth thing, it's not 10 minutes. I think you should do, but there's that intent to sit down and do it. So like I'll sit and like, I'll read my book throughout the day. I'll read more than 10 minutes. And you know, it's like last night I fell asleep reading my book. So I don't know if I actually read 10 minutes on the book, but I'm not going to judge myself. Start over, oh, Ryan. Shit. Day one. Well, I, but, I, but I'd already read, I'd already read like 20 minutes before that. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go and say, oh, I didn't, I didn't hit my 30 minute time. Book. I just, I fell asleep reading a nonfiction book, which is, which is for me is like, you're still doing, you're still meeting the challenge, but you're intent with it. Now, if you're one of the, and then there's kind of, there's a joke going around that if you go and log into the Facebook group, you'll get chastised with like for anything. So, so for example, if you do a workout, I play golf on Saturday for the first time in 18 months. Golf is a three, four hour exercise. That doesn't count as, as two workouts. That's only one workout. So I did a workout for 45 minutes at 5 a.m. And we teed up at seven. So I had, a, I had an hour break between six and seven and then I played golf. Now, if I had been, if I'd finished my workout at 6.05 and I teed off the golf at seven, technically I would have broken the, the rules. I would have, you have to have an hour break. I had to make sure I was finished before six, like I could take off at seven. But, you know, you've got to have some rules, some parameters, and it's, and it's about being on the right intent. Gives you a little of a break to work off of anyway. So what yeah. are the, what Apple Fitness workouts are you enjoying? So I'm doing kickboxing. Oh, Can you believe it? That must be so newer. Do, yeah. Yeah. So, so, the hit, so I do the hit workout most of the time, but then I get bored of it. I'm bored, but you're tired. Some days it's the, you know, stiffness is a factor. And I mean, I walk around my way to best as well as, as, as my second workout often. So, you know, when you, when I have one of those days that I've really dragged myself out of bed, I'll do the, I'll do the, the kickboxing thing. There's a little bit less impact on the joints. And then I do the strength training. I do the core, I do yoga, you know, so, so, cause you can, you can do any workout you like, as long as you are, you know, you're doing the intent. And I found that really useful because, you know, typically I'll just do hit workout, but now I'm, because I'm doing it every day, I've, I've got a fine balance. And I mean, the yoga's a 30 minute yoga session is just as intense as a 30 minute hit session. In fact, it's probably more intense, but less impactful. So it's just nice to have a balance. Yeah. Have you tried any of the warm ups or cool downs or they have like the little short videos yeah. as well? Yeah. So I'll do like a 30 minute. So if you do a 30 minute workout, it's normally 31 minutes because I do it's a warm down. Then you do a 10 minute cool down because you probably that takes you an 11 minutes as well. So you have 42 minutes. And then I'll just pick up some weights and I'll do five minutes of weight. Or I'll walk around the garden for five minutes, sitting down and stretching and stuff like that. So, because you're, you're going to make the five minutes up. And it's quite a it's quite a good way to start the day. And we've had good weather here as well. I mean, I'd rain this morning, but most days it's sunny. So, you know, you're enjoying a good part of the morning before everyone's up and about. And you've you finished, you've already accomplished your workout. Nice. Well, I know you need a hop, but um, yeah. I'm excited to keep following you through on this journey. What day are you? <laughs> What day of 75 short is this? on day 14, I think. Okay. Well, we'll keep checking in. See how yeah. it's going. Exactly. Exactly. Super. Thanks, Anna. Well, thanks, Anna. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you for listening to our episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends and colleagues. Help us grow our, our network. Please also check out our website at www.value.work and our product that's on there. It's something we work really hard on. We hope that it benefits you.